Greetings to my New Testament Writings in Context class here at LaGrange College. This is your instructor, Larry Aspland, coming to you here at the end of our very first week. I just wanted to send you a more personal video greeting uh, and let you know how things are going so far. I need to probably apologize in advance for any coughing I may do. I'm recovering from a bronchitis and it's left me with a souvenir cough. But you know, I think I think we'll make it through just fine. I I can't tell how excited I am about this class. Uh, I can't believe how interactive and involved you students are. This has already become a very dynamic learning experience, and I want to encourage you. You know, the fact that this is a core course is simply indicative of the fact that at Lagrange College, one of our core values is faith and faith development. And so to be able to take some time just to look at the background of the New Testament, I think is so very, very good, you know, and we all come from a variety of backgrounds. And so <clears throat> I want you to know, while we acknowledge that, uh, this course is in, in no way is designed to necessarily challenge your faith, except by way of enabling you to think uh, maybe more holistically, more critically, about the source of our faith in the writings of the New Testament. And so I think it's just a great experience. And already we've jumped into it here at the beginning in great style. <coughs> first, pardon me. Uh, first of all, let me say that I'm aware that some of you are getting your textbook late. And so when that happens, be sure to let me know, communicate that to me so I can adjust your due date when it comes to some week one assignments. The very first week in the text by Corey has a lot of reading, as you already know, but it sets the stage for the rest of the class. Uh, we are going to be doing some reading starting in week two in the New Testament, of course, itself. But for sure, most of your reading is going to be in the Corey text. So, you know, I encourage you to just uh, set aside time. I remember when I was in, in seminary, I would carry books around with me in the car. So whenever I had a a break, whether it be at work or at Starbucks or whatever it might have been, I would have that book with me and all ready to knock out a few pages anyway. And so that's kind of the way it is, especially in a summer intensive like the one that we're having so far. By the way, if you haven't stopped by and introduced yourself yet in, in the water cooler and in the introduction part of our class, please do so. I think it's a great opportunity for us to meet each other and start to get to know each other because there's no question this is a, a learning community that we're having, only five weeks long, but I think a very important um, a joint learning experience, so I encourage you to do so. As you know, our, <coughs> excuse me again, as you know, our online course is a very simple structure. You have reading assignments, the primary one being in the textbook, but also uh, reading uh, chosen books out of the New Testament. Then every week you will have a, a fairly short a uh, 600 word uh, reflection paper. This is your personal reflection. You know, it's not a report, it's certainly not a research paper. It's just your personal reflection, more like an essay on the reading for that week. And you will also be able to interact together on the discussion board as all of you have done so greatly here in the, in the very first week. And you know, I enjoy it myself. I jump in and participate in those discussion boards as a co-learner with you. Uh, in this class. And so you report your reading, you will submit your paper, you will jump in and participate in the discussion board every week. <coughs> Excuse me again. And now finally at the very end of the class, at the end of a week five, you will have a take home short answer essay test. You know, I will post a, a, a exam document that you will download and use to uh, a type answers to those questions and you'll save it and, and, and send it to me, submit it, and that will be the end of the course. So it's not overly difficult. I know it's intensive. I know it requires a lot of time management, especially when you are so busy. You know, so many of you are nursing students, which means you're working full time or more. A lot of you have families, which means you've got a second or a third full time job, depending on how many kids you've got and how old they are. But you know, it's just a great opportunity to be able to share these five weeks together. I want you to know that I'm available to you. I live in Pine Mountain, so I'm not that far from LaGrange. Uh, I end up in LaGrange fairly often, whether it be to buy groceries at Publix or to visit 
a doctor or whatever. I was just at the doctor's yesterday with my wife. Both of us got bronchitis in, in Florida, so I don't know what the lesson of that is. But anyway, we're back in Georgia feeling good. And I just want you to know that this is a great experience. You are certainly in my prayers because I think that we're not only learning together in community, but it has, you know, far-reaching significance in our lives. So God bless you, everyone. Be sure to let me know how I can serve you, and I'll see you online.